Hello and welcome to another mailbag, a festive one, uh, hence the um, ridiculous outfit I've been forced to wear against my will. You but love you, it. You have a very nice jumper on, very festive, and Took is all dressed up to look the part, but we shall get straight in. And a jingle. Oh. oh, that's very, very nice. Thank you for jingling your bells. You're welcome. What have we got in the first box? Aha. Northumberland tea. Well, this is well timed because I'm running well, a bit low on exactly tea supplies. What I thought when I opened it. The best cup since 1966, Jack Charlton himself approves of Northumberland tea. Wow. Uh, crops from the best plantations in Kenya, is it Ceylon? Mm. And Assam. Mm. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. There is no clue. I believe that's from the Northumberland Tea Company. You think it's from the Northumberland so. Tea that's Company it's themselves? On the label. Okay. Underneath. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's certainly come directly from them, but someone may have purchased it from them. I don't know, but if that was you, thank you very much. Tea. <laughs> that's good because I need a fresh supply for here. Uh, we'll jump quickly onto some cards because they're to hand. Uh, have an envelope. Oh, thank you. Uh, happy Christmas across the miles from Aww. Australia. Uh, that's rather jolly. Who's thank that you. from? Uh, Dave Townley. Ha ha. Uh, Dave is the um, owner of that fantastic bright orange Ford Cortina 6 that I drove in about 45 degree heat near Sydney. That was definitely a day to remember. Uh, I've never sweated so much in my life. But for you th yeah, thank you, Dave. Um, I, I have very fond memories of your air conditioning and, and the um, rehydration he offered me afterwards, which is basically glass after glass of cold water. Oh, oh Enfloat has sent me some more stickers. Uh, Enfloat on YouTube. So we shall mention Enfloat's uh, channel. I think that's Ross. So thank you, Ross. Don't know what I'll put those on. Um, cover up some of the cracks on um, Foxan. We're going Probably to a good idea. Those. Are we? Oh, yes. okay. It's another sticker. <laughs> With God, all things are possible. Okay, well, I'm not going to get into a religious debate right now. Um, but we've got application instructions, which is something you don't get with my stickers. I should probably do something about that. Yeah, we could fix that. Yep. There we go. I don't know where that's come from. Um, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yeah. We've got. Uh, where's this come from? Uh, customs declaration. It's come from David. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still not entirely sure where this has come from or, or what it is. Oh, it's slightly attached to the wrapper. I, I did try and make good easy yeah. to but. Oh, we're in. Ah, that useful item and something I don't have enough of, given my fleet a warding triangle. Um, is it a nice easy one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's even got an exclamation on it. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> uh, we can, well, we can use that if there's any language issues. Uh, so, thank you for that, whoever sent that. Um, obligatory equipment when travelling in Europe. Not actually a legal requirement in, in the UK. UK. Uh, another bag so here. Well, uh, this seems to have come from the same place. Uh, road flares warning lights. Uh, I did actually buy some of those um, a while back, um, mainly for travelling in this car because Tuk doesn't have hazard warning lights. So um, yeah, these are quite useful, very, very bright. Um, but I don't think the batteries are included, so they're probably not going to work. We want to try though, couldn't we? Oh, there is just the one in here. Yeah, it feels a bit lightweight to me. I don't think that's got any We've batteries. We've got plenty at home and ready yeah. for Christmas. So those are very useful things. Thank you very much. Another little packet. I have to excuse the uh, noise elsewhere. Uh, oh, it's another little 2CV. Yes. I'll have to come closer because this really is absolutely tiny. Look at that. Very, very small. So thank you whoever sent that item. I couldn't find a name on that one. Okay, there we go. Battery change, we're back live again. Alan Chatteris, thank you for the tiny 2CV. I shall add it to my collection of 2CVs. As you can imagine, I have quite a few of them. Uh, what have we got here? From Mrs. Chopra. A Yankee Candle Kiwi Berries air freshener. That are you are you saying my cars smell? Shemi has a certain scent. 
Oh yeah, the scent of dog. Yeah. In that case, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Let's see, show me the charade is your car. <laughs> oh, thank you. Is this because you broke her? Shut up. <laughs> see, see an upcoming video about that, uh, but it's fine. It's fine, really fine. Uh, customs declaration again. Again from the mysterious David. Do, do we think that might Apparently. Be a David or well, they, they all seem to, David? They all seem to come from an industrial estate in Southall, which I think is London. Aha! A beanie hat, but with a torch in it. Now that could be useful. They're really good at mechanics to use those at work. Okay, I'm to turn it off again. Oh, that could be lovely. Thank you. Okay. After we upgrade the hubnut beanies, we'll have to get some oh, with yeah, torches. Like. I'm not very good with packaging, which Miss Hubnut will soon discover at Christmas time. Yes, I'm not quite convinced I'm wrapping my own Christmas present. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Ooh, what we got in here? Daihatsu Sherrard Owner's Manual. Oh, which generation? Is it a G100? Because they're my favourite of the charades. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of clues as to which um, be a generation of charade it is. I obviously seem pretty confident. Oh, I, that looks like the G10, I think, from that diagram. That is the earlier type of charade. Yes, definitely. Uh, we can tell from this um, boxy version. I think it's the G10. I could be wrong on that. It's the 1980s, the early 1980s version. There you go. You can see on that tailgate. But nonetheless... Uh, an interesting document and uh, I should add that to my collection of interesting documents. It's Thank you. A card or something in there. Okay, well you take those and I'll, I'll, I'll have a root in the bag. No? No. I could have sworn there was. Um, yeah, that's an, an interesting return address. I don't even know what that is. But thank you very much for sending me that. This one has parcels within it. Hi Ian and family, hope you are all well. Just a couple of gifts for you and Miss Hubnut which you may find of use. And one of which has a funny touch because Steve says all older cars should have furry dice. Yes. That, that was definitely a thing in the 1980s. Carry on entertaining us as you have done for the last few years. Look forward to more exploits and that's from ah, Stephen and Gwenda. So uh, Stephen and Gwenda... Oh. Delicate news. <laughs> oh yes, excellent, yes, uh, I, I remembered the name, um, Steve and, um, uh, uh, I say, Gwenda, <laughs> oh. brain, I remember the I name, remember the that's the kiss of death, <laughs> yeah, they came and bought the uh, Delica and swapped it for Vixella the Vectra, and yeah, bought it Delica from you, still running strong, it's been welded, it's got a bigger turbo on it, I'm really happy, it clearly I'm went really to the right home. I know that she's got the right home. Miss Hubnut, Thank you very one much. can only assume... This is for Mr. Hubnut. That would be you. Yes, I, I would like, when, when time allows again. Are we allowed to open these now? Yeah. We got to really, haven't we? We're not going to film on <laughs> Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would like to meet up with the Delica again, just to see what it's like now. Oh, useful. Little buffing and um, polishing pads. Oh, they're even perfect match for Shemi. They are, they yeah. are. Yeah. Now... Shemi is going to have some seat covers and this may save Mr Hubnut from the fake he thought was going to be pink seat covers. Yeah, yeah, you so can't get pink, it'll clash with the blue. This is true. Right, uh, there we go. Thank you very much for those. Uh, what we got here? Thank you very much, those lovely. This is from Paul Mercer. Oh wow. Citroen Visa, GSA and CX. So that must be a brochure from the early 80s. Uh, so we're still on GSA. So what, 1984 would be my guess. Um, yeah, still on the CX Series 1. I'm not sure it's got a published date on it. Let's have a quick nose at the back. Uh, it was um, dispatched from Chelston Garage in Torquay. So all the way down in Devon. Ah, two years out. 82? Yeah, accurate as of 1st of September 1982. Uh, oh, wow. It's worth it just for the truck shot. Look at that for a lineup. Uh, amusingly, those are mostly um, 
Renault and Dodge trucks. But they've all got Citroen on them, so it's, it's all good. But uh, look, we've got some lovely in-car entertainment there. Have we got any fantastic dashboard shots? We must have, surely. Uh, the wacky world of the CX, particularly. Oh yes, all the technical stuff going on, spheres and whatnot. And here's the GSA. And uh, pointing out the safety features of the binnacles. Yeah, marvellous. Wow. What Citroen produced this year, other manufacturers will think about next. The switch pod is Citroen's answer to confusing stalks. Um, sadly, no one else picked this up. British buyers in particular hated them. But it's wonderful to have all these controls at your fingertips, so that's very sad. Look at that bit of light trail photography going on with that GSA. And then we've got a visa in um, what can only be described as a light brown. Marvellous. Visa L. So yeah, tested a Visa. Um, not sure I've actually driven a Visa with the suitcase engine. So there's something to do. Complete card. Uh, from my car history. Uh, from a Paul. Enjoyed the Citroen brochure I found. Have a great Christmas. And uh, there are his cars. Mm -hmm. Obviously a fan of the French, it would seem. Uh, and Fords. Yeah, Zara Picasso there. Renault Scenic. An interesting comparison in itself. Maybe that's one I should do one day. This can help with certain discussions. Can it? Yes. Oh no. It's the CX Safari. And how many seats does the C CX Safari oh, have? I am not even starting this again. There is a discussion ongoing in the household as yes. to a vehicle which was owned by my father. Which was a... what was it? It was a Safari with extra seats because the Safari in the UK only came with five seats. However, ours had seven. However, there may have also been further discussion that there was a possibility it was a Familial. Yes, yes, the CX Familial was the multi-seat version. We, we had to get the Citroen Car Club involved with this discussion. <laughs> there has been much discussion. Yeah, the things we do, eh? All right, what have we got here? A, a, a mixture of things. We've got... Um, we need to open those socks. I think there's a message on them. Oh, there's a message on the socks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it clean? Have you seen yes, it? Yes, I think it's clean, unless I've misinterpreted it. If you can read this, bring me some tea. Excellent. Yeah, so if I'm lying on the floor and you can read that, I def desperately need tea. Well, thank you. <laughs> just imagine you waving a foot at me. Yeah, yeah. Tea, please. <laughs> that's lovely. Wait, that is awesome. You know what that is. Oh, that's the thing you stick on your rear wiper and uh, Santa's arm waves. So you stick the arm to the wiper blade and then when the wiper goes, Santa waves at everybody. Works best on cars where the wiper goes through the rear window glass. We don't have any of those. Oh, could we not adapt it for Shemi? Where's your car? Excellent. And... <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Female wipes. Female wipes? Oh. Did I miss that one? What yeah. is that? What, 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 what the heck are female wipes? <laughs> Oh, okay. Are they intimate? They're, they're intimate. Oh, okay. Moving swiftly on. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in that bag. No, that's everything. No clues. Right, fun times. Never know. I thought maybe you wiped it and a female magically appeared. But uh, wh Why would you need one? Oh, I wouldn't. Exactly. Oh, hello. Yeah. A magnetic clip for wireless Go microphones. Ah. The mag clip Go allows for easy positioning of a wireless Go transmitter on talent. <laughs> okay. You are talented, my love. Clothing can be sandwiched between the magnet and the clip. Ah, oh, so you don't get the, the, the rustling. Yeah, ah, clever. Oh, liking that. Thank you very much, whoever sent that. There may be a bit. Oh, I've just stuck it to Giselle. Oh, there you go. It proof it works. <laughs> Definitely magnetic. And um, that that bit of Giselle is not. Um, uh, I'm going to filler. gently put it back on Giselle. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, well, thank you very much. And a case. And a case, yeah. <laughs> show the ca you can show the case. Show the case. Frill the crowds with the case. Look at that. Lovely. This will involve him actually putting something in a case and keeping it safe. So thank you. Yes. Uh, oh, this is from Francois Colombo in Belgium. 
This is part two. Part one we should have, have been part delivered. Part one as well. It is just there. It was underneath it. It's got fragile. Right. In that case, that's going back in the box. This is part one, is it? Yes. Okay. But you might want to read the letter. You oh, might okay. Want to have the two parcels. And read the letter. We are professional. We're also freezing. Sat here in our jumpers when we want to be wearing big coats. Uh, Christmas is a lot more temperate in New Zealand. Uh, dear Ian and family, please find these model cars which I hope will take pride of place in your display cabinet once it is built and installed. I do need to sort that out. Um, so what we've got in here, in this box, it's a red and white 2CV and one is sitting just behind the camera. So that's very nice, thank you. And an old sit club yeah, in model cool form. Oh wow. Um, I'm going to bring these two closer so you can have a look. But yeah, here's the 2CV. Uh, it's actually got the side stripes that Ellie hasn't got because I'm hopeless. Uh, there we go, there's some level of focus. Getting confused by my stripy arms. I'm not used to my arms being stripy either. And uh, there's the old set. It's in considerably better condition than the car itself. Uh, some nice detail on that. It's even got the rear wiper. So uh, yeah, thank you for that. That's uh, absolutely lovely. And in the other box... Drum roll. <laughs> We have another alt set. This one's bright green. Is this a suggestion? Is he saying that the best course of action will be to go and buy a bright green alt set? Uh, I think he's probably saying that. I think that's probably what we should do. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Hugo Florida, or Florida. I don't know what to say, Florida. Uh, that's what the Sana was called in pretty much every market apart from the UK. I have a feeling I've been sent one of those already. But I certainly don't mind having another. Uh, one day I will have the display cabinet of my dreams. So returning to the letter. We could uh, get that one off the swap shop. Yeah. That would we haven't got anywhere to put it. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy the videos which make me live by proxy. The tinkering on all sorts of vehicles that I do not have the opportunity to do myself. Yeah, it means you don't get the burns. Uh, more on that in a future video. Uh, I sometimes say, good grief, don't do that. Yes, or I would have done it otherwise. That's hub nut. But obviously not since I have neither the cars nor the skills. No, 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 you're probably, um, yeah, you're more than able to make criticism of my terrible mechanicking style, but it's okay. I will have assistance going forward, much needed, or already proved useful this week. Yes, yes. you stuck me underneath So, the box. Francois, <laughs> thank you very much indeed for those. Uh, what have we got here? This one's glugging. Is this just a receipt? It looks a bit like a receipt. It is. Uh huh. No idea who that's come from. I think I know. I think this might be an Ian Jackson thing. But it is a bottle of Cataclean, uh, which um, is good for uh, not being focused on, but should um, clean the catalytic converter um, in, um, I'm guessing, Shemi. So, really, that's a present for you. Don't drink it. I won't drink it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, we've only got a few left. It's not a huge one this time. Oh dear. <laughs> I didn't even, I did nothing. Yep. That was not me. Oh, postcard. Does that mean it's Martin Neumann? Ah. There's the giveaway. While you, I read this, you can look at this lovely um, Peugeot 504 pickup. Uh, this time it's a postcard and some materials. Let's start with Ms. Hubnut. Uh, we all do know the delicious Belgium chocolates, but Southern Germany? Ooh. Uh, I must admit, the chocolates were made by an Italian artist um, here in Ravensburg. Uh, okay, are you going to share with the others? You're the boss. So there's a present for me. Uh, there's some for the children oh. as well. And pour madame. Ah, that's even cool. Yeah. Or vielen Dank, I don't speak. Uh, this uh, flexible picker. Hey, is that in here as well? Or is that what this is? I did find in a hardware store. Oh, flexible picker, is that what I think it is? Oh, I hope it is. <laughs> yes! It's one of these squeezy things where you squeeze it and little ha claws come out. Ah. So you can um, grab misbehaving children and the like. <laughs> That's brilliant, I love those. My aunt had one of those when I was a child. Because my aunt was a car nut. I think that's probably where the car nut in me comes from. Ooh, they look very delicious. 
I'm already in disgrace with really Miss Hubnut because I've eaten all the marzipan chocolates, so I might have to share with her. Yeah, well, we'll take the others home for the children as well. And I might have to share with somebody else as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, my aunt was the petrol head. She worked in garages in the 1970s, uh, which, as a woman, you can imagine, was not always pleasant. But, uh, yeah, she, she worked a, a job delivering car parts to garages when I was a child. So I would go for many a, a mission to garages all over the Midlands. It was fantastic. Um, so if, if you worked at a garage in the Midlands in the 1980s through to the 90s, I think it was, and, and you remember Titch, that's my aunt. Uh, so she was quite the character. Still is quite the character, I'm happy to report. But thank you, Martin. That is um, splendid. We'll the take that box home. Very grateful. Thank you very, very much, Martin. That's very kind. Thank you. All right. Uh, another mysterious parcel. Oh. Oh. Hi, and this was recently donated by an ex Reliant dealer. I thought you might have some use with it. It's from the Reliant Owners Club, who have been such a source of help. It is a Reliant Fox parts list. So that could be very useful. Um, work out which bits are broken. Most of them are the little fox Ann who sat just out of shot right here. Engine interior. So there's the inside of the engine. Showing the um, timing chain and the little crankshaft, all the pistons and everything. Uh, splendid. Hopefully I won't need those bits. Uh, but yeah, we need to do something because she's not running at the moment, as you will see in a future video. That's our next. But uh, yes, thank you Reliant Owners Club. They have been superb. Uh, this one has come from overseas perhaps. To Ian. I hope this will be helpful to you. I hope you and your family and cars have a happy Christmas and New Year from Tim and Sammy the Cat up in Shetland. It is a range of bulb holders. Uh, oh, these are bulbs that possibly fit your car actually. Ah. You'll, we'll note these are the huge capless bulbs which some Japanese cars have. So they're like those little dainty ones you sometimes get as side lights and dashboards, but they're enormous. Uh, my Honda SMX had exactly the same bulbs, which is a pain because no one sells them. So again, that one's for you. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm concerned there was a light out. Were you? No, you. Was I? Yes, when we were parking her up the other day. Oh no, it's just because she's only got one reverse light because she has to have a high intensity rear fog light. And uh, that's quite annoying. Nice. This is from Gifts and Beautiful Things at Tyvee Hall. Thank you, it says. Is anything on this one? That's an invoice. So I think this is from somebody local. Oh, OK. Because it's from Newcastle Emlyn. This may be related to... I was going to say, freshness. yes, I think it will be. I think so. What have we got in here? Ah, there we go. Oh, it's wrapped delicately in tissue paper. Not very good at delicate. There we go, I'm in. Funnily enough, this is a shop that has been in Newcastle for a very long time, so I went there when I was a child. <laughs> ah, it is an air freshener. A clip-on um, air freshener. Oh, a Yankee Candle one. Yeah, another Yankee Candle one. Neutralises odours. Clean cotton. Oh, that's going to help. Uh, so thank you, whoever oh. has sent those items. You can give it a rub and a sniff. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we had enough innuendo on Monday. We don't need more. And the last package, the final package. Oh yes, I, someone messaged me to say they were sending these. Uh, we haven't got Rita here today. These are chrome mirror caps, uh, which make a Rover 75 look all There's the better. Two in there. Oh, okay, I'm trying to pull this one apart. That's <laughs> just how it's apart. designed. So, they were yeah. supremely well wrapped. Do Chrome not mirror apart. caps. Look, look, there's Ellie. You can see Ellie uh, now, and there's Foxanne. So they're quite reflective. Um, so, um, yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, I refitted the chrome strip yesterday, so uh, She's didn't, looking lovely. didn't make a video about that, so I'll put those on as well. She will look a million dollars, or at least, um, I don't know, 800 quid. Right. <laughs> that was a fabulous selection of items. Thank you very much. Uh, we should definitely say uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you. And in Welsh, that is... Oh, mm. I don't know what the rest of that was. I'll we'll see you in 2021. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll see you before then as well. But yes, the, the, the sentiment is very much of Christmas at this time, which is why Tuck is all 
dressed up with um, pretty lights. So thank you for watching. Hopefully many more adventures with this car next year and the rest of the Hubnut fleet. And we look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably going to work and it would look like little pixies. I always look like a little pixie. Can't deny it. Hello and welcome to...